ChatGPT's deep research tool is very underused and it can work as a little bit of a hack when you're working with ChatGPT. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what the deep research tool is and when the best time is to use it. But before we do that, I'm Bailey Reddings. I show you how you can use AI practically within your business. So to use ChatGPT's deep research tool is pretty easy and pretty simple. All you've got to do is press the plus button in the bottom left. It will bring up this section and then you've got to press deep research. Now this is the prompt I've given ChatGPT to go away and use deep research. As you can see, at the top of the prompt, I've given it context. What am I actually trying to achieve from this? I'm wanting to create a newsletter for my AI community on social media. We've then given it a task. I need you to become an expert in what makes the best newsletter and the best ways to design a newsletter. And then we've given it a follow-up action with, I then want you to come back to me with a plan of what the newsletter should be about and the best ways to design it and what tools I should be using. You then want to send this off. Now it's going to give you some follow-up questions based on the prompt you gave it. Now it's best to answer these questions as it will result in a better and more accurate answer. Once you've answered it, it will then understand what you've actually asked and it's just going to start research. You're actually able to click on the starting research button and if you're curious, you can actually see what sources ChatGPT is actually looking through. And just a few minutes later, it's given me a much more detailed answer than just the casual ChatGPT answer. For example, it's given me seven points. Now, it's so long. I'll show you the top one and I'll show you the bottom one. So the top one, it's given me the best performing newsletter formats and layouts for engagement. And it's given me all the text, but it's also given me links as well as going double check the information. And at the bottom point it gave me was examples of a successful AI tech newsletter and what makes them effective. And then just for another one, number four, design uh, best practices for mobile and desktop readability. These answers are so, so much better than the casual ChatGPT answers. And this is why you really, really need to use deep research on ChatGPT. So like I showed you in the video, ChatGPT's deep research tool is super useful when working on a project with ChatGPT. So are you going to start using the deep research tool? Let me know in the comments.